Hey everyone, it's Christina here. Um, we are back for video number three of the art sale. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, painting PMs, pouring mediums. Uh, I have quite a few here. Uh, but before I get started, I want to reiterate a few things that I mentioned in the first video and the, um, the other two videos. First, um, this is video number three. So if you missed the other videos of the sale items or the initial video announcing and going through the entire studio, um, you might want to go back and watch those. Um, item number two that I want to cover is please don't comment on each individual video. Um, I think I mentioned it in the first one and maybe one of the other ones. For some reason, YouTube Studio does not show me every comment. And so it sometimes will give me a comment, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, so unless I remember to go back into the videos uh, and search for the comments, um, it's really challenging. So not only that, it's not the best place to discuss what you're interested in. So please call, text, or email me. Um, that's how I've been doing it so far, and it's worked really well. Um, and it's easier to drill down into what exactly you're interested in. So it's the easiest way. Um, I've done a few FaceTimes so you can get, you know, all the details that you want. Just know that I have a ton of stuff. So um, I don't have a price list. There's, I would be here for months inventorying every single item in my studio, which is why I'm doing it this way. So I have shipped out quite a few boxes so far. Um, just to give an update on that, all of the cabochon and jewelry trays are sold. Uh, shipped them out already. I've shipped some paint already uh, and a few other odds and ends. So um, for today's video, oh, one more thing I wanted to reiterate, uh, payment. I do not have Cash App. I have no intention of downloading Cash App. Um, I can take payment through PayPal. I can take payment through Zelle if you have something else. Uh, just about every bank uses Zelle now and it's free and it's instant. Um, so my process is you tell me what you want, I give you a price, and so far I've had zero people tell me that's too much. Um, like I said, I'm not giving it away, but I'm definitely not uh, trying to get retail price out of it, even though some of the stuff that I have is brand new, never opened. So. Basically, that's the process. Um, we decide upon, you know, if they're good with the price I give them, which everybody has so far, um, unequivocally, uh, then I weigh everything, try to find box or boxes to ship it, and get them the best shipping cost uh, to wherever they live. Um, so that's kind of how it's gone, and it's, it's gone pretty well. Uh, I do use a service that I get a a significant discount on shipping. Uh, just to give you an example, I shipped out a box this morning that was like almost seven pounds to Cincinnati, Ohio, and I think the shipping was less than $10. So overall, not that bad. So with all that said, just keep that in mind. If you are truly interested, I, I'm getting a lot of communication. So if there's something you want, definitely hit me up as soon as possible. Um, so going over what I wanted to go through today, and that is pouring medium. So as you can see, we have flood flow trawl here. This is a partial, um, looks like it's, you can see the level is about to here. Um, so more than likely, if you buy the other two, I'll just throw this one in since there's not a lot. So the other two gallons are completely full, never been opened. Um, I've included this in the pouring mediums because to me, it is a pouring medium. So this is a creative inspiration that you can only get at Jerry's Artorama. Um, this is a pearl essent. To me, it's a pouring medium. I used it in my cloud pour recipe and it works fantastic. Um, I don't know what other uses there is for it, but use it in my cloud pour, uh, pouring medium. Um, this is also creative inspirations. Um, if you watch Molly's uh, artistry, she uses this uh, in a couple of her recipes. It is a polymer gloss medium and varnish. Uh, she uses it um, in her pouring mediums, I think for her cloud pours, 
maybe one of her Dutch pour recipes. I can't remember. I think actually it is in one of her Dutch pour base recipes, um, which is how I used it. And it works fantastic. Um, so I have this partial, which you can see is to about right here. And then a brand new one that's never been opened behind it. So two, uh, one and a half of those approximately. All right, I'm going to move these over. I'm at, I have this gallon of GAC 800. I actually have some in a bottle back here. I'm going to pour into it. Um, it is up to about here. So I'm guessing since the full is here, it's somewhere between two thirds and three quarters full. So there's that. I have this Blacrylic uh, Polymer Gloss Medium. So it's going to be similar to this Creative Inspirations. I have that. It's almost full. And then I have uh, Liqu Liquitex Pouring Medium Gloss. Uh, this is, a lot of people use this for uh, Dutch pours. They use it for cup pours. Um, so there's that. There's a tiny little bit in the bottom, like I said before. Yep, I'll just throw that in. And then this one is unopened, brand new. Also in the Liquitex, I have this. Uh, also a pouring medium, but it's an iridescent pouring medium. Um, so completely different than this. Um, had it, Obviously, it's never been opened, brand new. This one has... Um, little more than half full and this is the high gloss varnish which a lot of people also use as a pouring medium or some people use it to varnish their um, paintings and then I have this uh, another gloss varnish um, honestly not sure what the difference is um, I don't know what that means brilliant gloss varnish anyway it is obviously uh, pretty much full. I don't know that I ever used it. I'll have to open it and see if the steel seal is still on it. Um, this is brand new, never been opened. This is gold metallic medium, also by Viquitex. And then I have the same one in silver. So both of those. So that covers everything Liquitex. Um, I have this container, which it looks like it's about three quarters full, two thirds to three quarters full of GAC 900. Um, I use that in my um, cell activator. Uh, I know that there are some cloud recipes out there with GAC 900 in it. I know uh, Tara's uh, artistry, she uses this. Uh, I think she also uses either this or the 800 in her Dutch pour. Um, I'm including the Flood Penetrol, also use this for cell activator. Um, this is almost completely full because you hardly use any and it really doesn't expire. I have a teeny tiny amount of Josanya. I had two brand new uh, containers, but I sold those. Um, so if anybody buys something, I'll throw it in if anybody wants it. I have this almost brand new bottle of Artisoft pouring medium. I know a lot of people use that in cloud pours. Um, and this is almost brand new as well. I used a small amount of the Pevio, the famous Pevio Studios uh, pouring medium. Uh, this is sometimes hard to, hard to get. And then <clears throat> also the golden color pouring medium in gloss. Um, I also use this in my um, cell activator recipe. Um, again, Tara's Artistry uses this. There's a few other artists that use this in their pours, whether it's a cloud pour, pearl pour, um, uses this. Uh, so that is everything that I could find. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. And I'll just scroll right on back through here. Uh, and again, just repeat if you're interested in any of these items, please let me know via email, text, or call, and we can work out a price and shipping arrangements. And like I said, it's best if you look through all of my videos and see if there's anything else you are interested in and let me know. That way we can ship all at the same time. Um, still have Lots of items to go through. Uh, I'm gonna start putting together all of the items that can be painted on. Hopefully release that video today as well. So um, 
that will be it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, everybody.